Hi everyone and welcome back to the Ultimate Tech Hub. On today's episode, we're going to take a look at the Plex Media Server. We'll go over the basic settings, some advanced settings, and we'll show you how to add libraries. So first, let's go ahead and take a look at the home screen. This is my home screen and you can see the TV shows and movies that I've added recently. On the left side, you can collapse or expand. And on this side, you have all libraries. And I'll show you how to add those in a minute. Let's take a look at a folder first. Let's take a look at Trolls World Tour. And on these little three dots here, you have a lot of options here. But the option I like the most is this left side, where we can change the poster. So we have the poster here, but maybe I want to change it to this one. This one's kind of cool. Click onto that, hit save changes. Very cool. Okay, next let's go ahead and go to my account. Okay, we're in my account. Got our thing here, personal information. On the left side, general information. And I always want to check for the updates. It's already up to date, so we're good to go. Remote access. We have a green check, which means we are fully accessible outside of our network. You can disable this if you want. I wouldn't recommend it because the whole point of having the media server is to be able to watch movies whenever you want from wherever you want. Let's see here. Transcoder. I want to make sure it's very fast. So, And quality is automatic. You can set this to uh, here. Higher quality if you want. And let's go ahead and go to libraries. Let's go ahead and add a library. So click Add Library. We have five types to add. So we're going to add TV shows. We'll leave it the name, English and TV shows. Next, let's browse for media. And I know where my TV shows are. They are in this folder. Click on TV shows and let's go here. Now we can hit Add. And all these shows will go into that folder called TV shows. And I would do that, but I already have this in my library already. So we're good to go there. And we can do the same with movies. One thing I want to show you is with other videos. If you're going to add workout videos, like series, like P90X, or a yoga series, or like a body beast, or meditation, whatever that is, use other videos. If you try using TV shows, it just won't work. So try doing that with other videos. You should be just fine. Now let's go to users and sharing. This is nice because this allows you to add a friend or a family with an email and it sends an invite and they can accept it and then they get to watch your media, your movies or TV shows. It's pretty cool. Let's go back to the homepage. Let's go down to movies. Let me show you the whole folder of movies. you can see, it's all alphabetical. So here's the A's. The first one is numbers, so anything starts with a number. But we can go down to say K or R, which is nice because I've got a lot of movies. It would be hard to find a certain movie if you couldn't you could click on to like the F's or the G's. It would be difficult. So it's nice to have that feature. And let's go back to the home screen. You can change smaller or larger. And you can switch around, look around. You can edit the home screen if you'd like. I'll leave it the way it is. I like the way that it's already set up, so I'm not going to change anything. Okay, one more thing I want to talk about is when you add an app to, say, Apple TV or Roku, um, you're going to add the app, and they're going to ask you to link an account. You'll click onto that. It's going to give you four digits. It's going to give you like two numbers and two letters. And that way you can link it to your account here. And you'll do so go to here, and you'll type that number in, hit link, and they'll link that TV or that Apple TV to your account. And that's all you have to do. So that's pretty cool. Okay, the last thing I want to talk about is the Plex Pass. Now, 
You can watch all your movies and TV shows from your home network at your local area. But if you want to watch your movie safe when you're on vacation or you're, I don't know, you're camping or you're at work on lunch break, well, you can't do that unless you get the Plex Pass. And these are the options you have. You have the $4.99, which is pretty popular, all the way to $119.99 for the full lifetime subscription. You'll never get charged again. And if you watch a lot of movies, I would say definitely do the $119. Now, the thing is also about this is about four years ago, this was $79.99. So this is going up every year. So if we get in now before another price increase, it might be worth looking at. So, well, guys, we're all done here. And I want to thank you for watching. And if you like these videos, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love them, hit subscribe. It's free. Thanks again for watching.